I'm tired. Hey y'all. What you mean y'all miss me? I was just on here last night. Y'all be bluffing. I feel a little better today, but I am so sleepy. Like, I don't even know why I'm on here. Because I feel like my eyes is about to shut. But I'm like, let me just go in here and do something real quick before I go to bed. kids today because I'm really tired my eyes are really black I'm just I'm, I'm tired y'all I'm tired um it's probably this fucking um time with the time going back that shit is just I'm tired Oh, Erica, you like the subscriber reading today? Is there a certain time you get on? Girl, no. It depends on, like, when I finish up my last personal reading for the day, then I'll try to jump on. And I literally just sent off my last reading for the day. Oh, I'm definitely not doing every sign separately. Like, when I say... My eyes are burning like I'm tired. Keep having dreams about my team who ain't my man. What do you mean you having dreams about your team? Yes, it's over for the candles. I'm doing a little better from yesterday, but I'm just really sleepy. All right. <laughs> Mm. All right, so I see. Um, who are we doing first today? Mm. This is the evening unwind. Look, I don't know if y'all can see, but look, I got gold on my nails. Isn't this like Leo, like the gold, the lion in me? I love gold. Like gold is one of my favorite colors. All right, we could do water signs first. Went got some Botox today. My head hurting. Botox make your head hurt? I know that. Thank you. Um, girl, I don't know where we at today. You know, to Wednesdays is normally our date night, but. I couldn't go out today because I felt sick the first part of the day. And now I'm just fucking tired. Oh, it helps alleviate the pain. All right, let's get started, y'all. What messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know today? 
Bree, I don't never relax. When I say I work from the first thing in the morning until nighttime, like, I don't get a rest. Florida has a hurricane right now. It's been raining all day. Oh, man. Spirit, what messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know today? Just do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know today? What messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know today? What messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know today? Lovers cards. Somebody has a lot of love for you. Soulmate energy. Someone um, feels like you two are kindred spirits. Y'all have great sexual chemistry. Um, my razzle dazzle queen. I love that for me. That's your new name. Okay, I'll take that. I like that because I like to add a little razzle dazzle to people's lives. Okay. Matter of fact, I think that was one of my captions on my personal page before. I think I said. I bring a little razzle-dazzle to people's lives, whether they like to admit it or not. I really think that was my caption one day. Spirit, what messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know? All right, so remember when I said lovers cards, somebody has a lot of love for you, soulmate energy, energy. Yar, kindred spirits, seven of wands. There's a blockage in this relationship. So either y'all block this person, they blocked you, or spirit is just blocking this connection right now for your um for your higher good for whatever reason. We gotta figure out why. Why there's a blockage. <clears throat> then you have the nine of wands. So nine of wands means somebody is resisting. Um, some of y'all may be one foot in and one foot out because when it comes to love, when it comes to relationships, you've been through a lot. You may have PTSD from relationships. Um, and it's like a part of you is like, mm, kind of want to work it out with this person, but I know I probably should walk the fuck away. So with the eight of swords, it's like you're all in your head. You don't know what to do. You're overthinking. It's like a mental prison for you. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles means that your purse... I'm sorry if y'all keep seeing me do this. I bit my lip today and that bitch hurt. Um, Seven of Pentacles, your purse... Why do I curse so much? I need to work on that. I think my manifest me stop cursing so much. No, because then y'all going to be bored if I don't curse at y'all. So maybe I won't manifest that. But anywho, so... Seven of Pentacles, your person, even though you're resisting and you're all in your head about what you should do, like you're one foot in, one foot out, your person is not ready to give this up. Even if y'all are not talking right now, they know that at the end of the day, they are not finished investing in this connection with you. Hey, Candy Girl, tell me about the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? Did you have to curse anyone out today? Um, no, I think I did. I'm a little nicer today. Yesterday I was on one, but that's only because y'all got people be really pissing me the fuck off. And I be trying to be nice, but yesterday just wasn't a day. Yesterday just wasn't a day. Spirit, tell me about the lover's card. Hey, Monique, tell me about the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? Tell you more what? Tell you more captions? Or what you talking about, girl? Tell me about the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? They definitely had me messed up yesterday. 
Tell me about the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? Oop, that's too many cards. Hold on. Tell me about the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? Tell me about the lover's card. Thank you. Lover's card is clarified by the empress. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody sees you, somebody is in love with you. Somebody sees you as um, somebody that is very beautiful, very nurturing, very caring. Um, you may be an entrepreneur because the Empress represents entrepreneurship. Um, the Empress card is also a very, very, very high fertility card. So some of y'all maybe get pregnant or some of y'all maybe dealing with your baby daddy. I don't know. But they also see you as somebody that they want to have a family with. They see you as somebody that they want to marry. So let's see what's going on. Why is there a blockage? Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? I cannot wait to get my reading super excited. Now, did I do a reading for you before? Because I know this is not your first time, but I can't remember. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? I'm pregnant now. We just found out a few weeks ago. Oh, congratulations. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Seven of wands is clarified. Oh, wait, what, what? Hey, Tiffany girl. Yeah, this will be my fourth reading. Girl, so why are you talking about you excited like this your first reading? I know I wasn't tripping. <laughs> um, all right, so the seven of wands is clarified by the hermit, the chariot, and the queen of cups. So, <clears throat> hey, Darian, what's up, bro? Where's Erica? So, remember I said with the seven of wands, there's some sort of blockage, right? So with the hermit card, some of y'all may be separated from this person, but the thing is with the separation, use this time to grow. Use this, <laughs> you said right here, use this time to focus on yourself and, and get clear on what you want, where you're going at in life. Um, even with your goals, your ambition, not just love, but with this chariot card, oh, and also with the hermit card, it's time to tap more into your spiritual side. And some of y'all need to take some sort of class or higher learning um, that's going to benefit you in the long run for your career. Who glowing? Shiver, don't start. Don't start these rumors because I am not fucking glowing. I am tired as shit. But anywho, you made me forget what the fuck I was saying. Chariot, okay, so then you got the chariot card. So chariot card represents forward movement. So I feel like, um, yes, autumn rumors, because they tried to start these rumors about me yesterday that I will not even give a shed light to today. But anywho, um, see, every time I do water signs, y'all get me so distracted. All right, so look, so with the chariot card, it represents forward movement. So y'all ready to get out of this hermit mode or your person's about to get out of this hermit mode and start moving forward to you with this uh, connection. So because the chariot card sometimes can represent obstacles. So they feel like it's some sort of obstacle standing in the way of you two being together. And that's why this blockage is here with this seven of wands. But a lot of times with this um, chariot card, Someone is determined to overcome the obstacle. Then you have the Queen of Cups, which is, of course, your energy as well, because this is water signs. So once again, just like the Emperor's card, they look at you as someone who is very nurturing, someone is very caring. They love the way you love them. You pour a lot into your relationships. Like when you love somebody, you overextend yourself. <clears throat> and you got to stop that. You got to stop that. You said you and the hubby was going to have a baby girl. Who said that? Why is y'all on this live lying on me? What are y'all talking about? I'm about to block y'all because I'm not putting up with these lies and these rumors. But anywho, tell me about the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? Tell me about the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? 
Tell me about the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? Tell me about the nine of wands. Yes, lies and propaganda. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Um, Erica, don't be confused. Don't even listen to them. Don't even read these comments. They being messy. When you said we was coming to the wedding. Wedding, yes. Baby, no. Uh-uh. Let me finish this damn reading, y'all. Because for real, because then what is signs going to start complaining like they did yesterday. And I had to block the fucking person. So let me just get through this reading. And y'all got to stop being messy. I was going to say, girl, I've been gone for a few days. What have I missed? I know people are lying. Girl, as long as you know people are lying, and you don't even have to worry about what you missed yesterday. Anywho... So the nine of ones, remember I said like you feel like you're like you're resisting. You're one foot in, one foot out. You don't really know what to do, right? But with this three of pentacles, your person is saying like, hey, I want to work on this with you. I want to rebuild with you. I want to get to know you all over again. Like, let's take this slow. Um, the only thing is sometimes the three of pentacles may represent third party energy. So somebody may have had you in a third party energy and that could be why you're like, or at least you think they may have someone else. So that's probably why y'all are resisting. Like, mm, I don't know. Like, I know you say you love me. I know you say this is what you want, but I heard this before. I seen this before. And I don't know if I want to go down that road with you again, because that road is just too hurtful. So yeah, y'all. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords is clarified by the Death card. So something ended or is about to end or you're in your head about ending something. So sort of like what I was speaking about with the nine of wands. Y'all are like really, really in your fucking head. Like, should I just be done with this? Should I focus on myself? Like, what should I do? I don't know. You're really in your head about whether or not you should in this relationship, situationship, whatever you're in. Tell me about these seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Tell me about this seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Tell me about this seven of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Wands. So some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So King of Wands, this is typically a man that wants to do right, wants to settle down, wants to be faithful. But, but let me clarify it and see, will he be faithful? Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Tell me about the King of Wands. Five of Swords. I don't know if your person going to be faithful. Because Five of Swords represents somebody that plays a lot of games. That self-sabotage. That wants you to chase them. Mm. But it's so crazy because they love you. And they want to be with you. Oh, and to answer your question about career. Yes. You have the Empress. The Empress represents entrepreneurship. So a lot of you, and it also represents creativity. So it means it's time for y'all to tap into your creative side and um, start some type of business. Or if you already have a business, you need to expand. Just like what I was speaking about with this Hermit car, it's time for y'all to take some type of class, higher learning, go back to college because it's going to help you with your career. Um, Three of Pentacles, you may, you may be meant to collaborate with someone on something. Um, and you may be good with your hands as well. Seven of Pentacles means that whatever you have saved up, you need to take that and invest in your career. So, um, yeah, so what are signs? That's what I have for you. It's like your person want to be with you, but you have every right to have your guard up because they're known for fucking playing games. But at the bottom of the deck, you have the, um, Queen of Swords. So that means even if they try to come back, 
You got to set boundaries with them. Like, and you, you got to be very clear. You got to stand on fucking business with them. Like, you have to say to them, like, hey, this are, these are my expectations. These are my boundaries. You're going to respect my boundaries. And if you can't give me what I need or deserve in this relationship, then I'm done. I'm done. He didn't answer my email. He ghosted. I have no clue what you're talking about, Ashley. TJ, we know your ass do not ever stand on business. Cut it out. You need to. You need to stand on business. All right, so that's what I have for water signs. So we're going to do air signs next. So can somebody write air signs? your dog but i gotta keep shit real with you you know one thing about me i'm gonna keep it 100 and you're not the only one that don't stand on business there's a lot of people in this chat that i'm not going to tell a business but they don't they don't be standing on business at all and matter of fact let me let y'all out real quick because i would do a reading for y'all right some of y'all and i'm not gonna call y'all out by names i will tell you what the cards say i would give you my advice i would tell you what to do and y'all don't fucking do it and then y'all write me in my dm like Oh my God, da, 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 da. this happened. And I'd be like, well, did you do X, Y, and Z? Well, no. So why the fuck did you in my DM complaining? Y'all don't listen and y'all don't stand on fucking business. At all. At fucking all. Baby shine advice. Wait, what y'all talking about? Because I know y'all not in this um, chat. Keep fucking lying on me. I'm about sick of y'all shit. Says, I'm glad you haven't read me yet. <sighs> oh, you standing on it this time? Okay, stink. Girl, you is lying. You don't be, you probably try staying one toe down, but you definitely don't be standing no ten toes down. Y'all be bluffing. Okay, Shara. Okay. Oh, yeah, the girl did say she was pregnant in the chat. She said she found out a few weeks ago. None of y'all listen. None of y'all listen in the readings. I'm ready to start air now. All right, whatever y'all say, okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for air signs? What do air signs need to know today? Oh, yeah, y'all asked him what Carmen had. Didn't she say she have a date with Magic Mike, to Magic Mike tonight? My person is irresistible to me, but I'm doing pretty good with my boundaries. Well, good for you, Stank. Yes, I made, I made that very clear. Spirit, what messages do you have for air signs? What do air signs need to know today? because I'm always cold and my son keeps telling me I need to take iron pills. So what messages do you have for air signs? What do air signs need to know today? Get iron infusion, highly recommend. I definitely am anemic. And I keep saying I need to start taking my vitamins. That's probably another reason I'm so tired today. Give me one more card for air signs, Barry. One more card for air signs. Let me reshuffle because these are the same cards. Hold on. And I don't know how because y'all just see me shuffle. Hold on, air signs. 
Let me do a better shuffle. Now, they come out again, then it's just meant to come out. I'm hearing that song. I don't know who's sing it. Um, I'm probably already fucked the words up. Is it stop calling my phone or she be calling my phone? Mm -mm -mm. I don't know the words. But that song is meant for somebody because I don't even know the fucking song, but it just popped up in my head. Is it by somebody? Is the, is the man named Black or Blast or something? Cindy Fire Signs is next after Air Signs. Can somebody tell me how that song go? TJ and Black, yeah. Can somebody tell me how it go? Because I feel like that's a message for air signs, but I don't know the words. You never know the words. <laughs> All right, well, y'all got to look the lyrics up yourself. Shit. Calling my phone. So maybe somebody ready to get a phone call. Wait, I need, wait, before I tell y'all, y'all got to tell me. I already look up the fucking words myself because y'all can go to hell. Oh, steady calling my phone. I didn't told you before that it's over. Leave me alone. I know it hurts you to see me gone. I won't go back, but trust me, you're going to hold on to that. Yeah. Some of you, okay, air sign. Some of y'all are fucking done with your person. You want them to stop calling your phone. You want to make them stand on every fucking thing that they have done to you. Okay. I love that for y'all. Okay, so let's see. Fair, what messages do you have for air signs? What do air signs need to know? Spirit, tell me what messages do you have for air signs? What do air signs need to know? And what that's crazy because we were just talking about standing on business. So that person has long as standing on business. So air signs, y'all got to really start standing on business, setting these boundaries. Spirit, what messages do you have for air signs? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm glad that card came out. I am so psychic, y'all. <laughs> All right, give me two more cards for air signs. Two more cards. One more card for air signs. One more card. Say one more card. Give me one more card for air signs. Okay. <clears throat> first cup. Is, I said first cup. First card is the Ten of Cups. So your person does love you. And I feel like they daydream a lot about giving you this happily ever after. Like, they really want it all for you. Um, they, mm, why am I getting tongue tied? They really, they don't want this message to come through. Or they just got so much to say to you, but they just can't find the words. Or they think you're going to go off on them, so you're making them nervous. I don't know. Anywho, um, they often daydream a lot about having this happily ever after with you all they truly want is you like they they want to they're in love with you they want to give you the family the marriage the house the white picket fence but gotta figure out what's standing in the way then you have the strength card so the strength card means either some one of y'all is trying to find the strength to work on a relationship the mm, mm, the other is trying to find the strength to walk away from the relationship. So this is going to be interesting. Then you have the emperor. So the emperor is typically someone that is very stubborn, can be egotistical, but he does stand on business. The emperor typically stands on business. Emperor is typically someone that's married or in a relationship, has kids, wants a family. So either this person wants to be in a committed relationship with you or wants to be married with you or some of y'all may be dealing with a married man and then with this fool card it's like they want a new beginning with you but we got to see what's stopping all of this tell me about the ten of cups why is the ten of cups here so some of y'all could be dealing with the aries a capricorn a leo an aquarius or a cancer 
Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ten of Cups is clarified by the King of Swords. So, y'all, wait, who am I doing? Arizona? Oh, no, this is y'all energy, King of Swords. Okay. So, your person is really feeling like the roles are changing and you are starting to really stand on business, okay? Air signs, y'all are really standing on business because y'all are like pulling back y'all feelings. Y'all are not just giving, giving, giving and allowing people to continue to take. Some of y'all are becoming very cold and detached. Some of y'all are becoming emotionally unavailable. Some of y'all are out here like, you know what? I'm ready to just play the fucking field. I'm about to do me. I'm about to do me. You're starting to think more with your head and not your heart because you feel like every time you do things based off of, your, off of love, off of your heart, you end up getting fucked in the process and, and you're tired of it. So now you're really embodying your sign, the king of swords. If it ain't making sense to you, you don't want nothing to do with it. I love that for y'all. Tell me about this shrimp card. Why is the shrimp card here? Tell me about this shrimp card. Why is the shrimp card here? Tell me about this shrimp card. Why is the shrimp card here? Don't show no love, won't be no love. Wait, is that a song or did I just make that up? Because I think it's a song. Yeah, like if you don't show me love, you ain't getting no fucking love from me. If you ain't pouring in me like I'm pouring into you, then that's why I'm, I'm, I'm cutting off the faucet. I'm turning the water off. Tell me about this shrimp car. Why is the shrimp car here? Tell me about this shrimp car. Why is the shrimp car here? Dream card is clarified by the Queen of Cups. So they see you as somebody that's very loving, very nurturing, very caring. They love the way you love them. But I feel like with this Queen of Cups, you are really about to start pouring into yourself more. You're really start. You're really about to start practicing self-love. If it doesn't serve your higher good, then you want nothing to do with it. So you're ready to start making people meet you where you're at. You're not going out your way to meet them. If they are not where you're at spiritually, mentally, energetically, you're done with it. I feel like a lot of y'all are washing your hands. Tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Emperor is clarified by the moon and the nine of wands. So the moon card. Your person, somebody has a lot of love for you. They feel very drawn to you and they don't know why, but maybe because y'all are twin flames, they have more love for you than they tell you about. But the moon card also tells you to use your intuition. Somebody stalks you on social media. And with this nine of wands, the nine of wands is like, it's somebody that's in your energy that you are really just like on the verge of just cutting it off. Some of y'all already may be completely done with this person, but energetically you may still hold on to them. So with this nine of wands, it's like you're one foot in, one foot out. You know you've been through a lot. So it's just like, I got to cut this cord. That's how y'all feeling. But it's still a part of you that's kind of secretly still holding on to them. Even though y'all in the chat bullshitting, but y'all still kind of holding on to them. I stalk him on his videos. He's a cop and I watch the videos. He looks so depressed. Girl, stop stalking that man. <laughs> Tell me about the fool car. Why is the fool car here? Tell me about the fool car. Why is the fool car here? Tell me about the fool car. Why is the fool car here? Page of Swords. They keep tabs on you. Or for some of y'all, y'all keep tabs on them because she just said she'd be stalking that man. Anywho. But most of y'all, they keep tabs on you. Like, they want a new beginning, but they just, um, they don't know if you're going to be for it right now. So, right now, they're just watching you from afar, and they keep tabs on you. 
and they have a lot of love for you. Um, some of y'all could also be dealing with a water sign. Um, what is that? Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, so yeah, let's see. Hold on. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for air signs and the person that's on their mind? What is the final likely outcome for air signs and love? Magician. Somebody is manifesting a relationship with y'all. And this may be a new person. I mean, it could be old or new. I don't fucking know. You'll find out when somebody comes forward. But if somebody is manifesting a relationship with you, they feel like you're their soulmate. They're very interested in you and they're very focused on you. Um, They also want to take you to pound town because the magician card can be a very sexual card. So y'all have somebody manifesting y'all. Tell me about this magician card. Why is the magician here? Thank you so much, Gizmo, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Look, y'all standing on business. Queen of Swords. Y'all have the King of Swords and, and the Queen of Swords. So somebody is your divine counterpart. But at the end of the day, Air Signs, y'all showed up heavy in y'all reading, which is huge. So somebody is manifesting you. But let me say this, okay? I know a lot of y'all with this nine of ones have been through a lot. You may have PTSD from love and relationships, okay? But if this is a new person that's trying to come into your life, yes, it is okay to set boundaries. But don't set unrealistic boundaries to the point that you run this new person off because you just so afraid of getting hurt because of everything that happened to you in your past. You can't bring the past into your future. Everybody is not going to be that fuck boy or that fuck girl that you used to mess with. This person may really be a genuine person that wants something stable with you. But with this Queen of Swords, some of you may be a little bitter from a previous relationship, a little scorn. So some, you got to let that hurt go and let this new love in or you're going to run this new love away. And that new love could possibly be a fire sign because you got the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So just know that. Be very careful. Um, now, if this is a person from the past coming back, then yes, set boundaries with they ass. Stand on that shit. Okay? Don't let them play with you. So that's what I have for y'all. I actually like y'all reading air signs. Oh, God, De'Aaron. Oh, I forgot. She an air sign, isn't she? Was she Aquarius? <laughs> she about to stand on business. All right, can somebody write fire signs, please? Hey, Geraldine. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you, Ashley, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. I do have a new Aries energy. Okay. Mm. I missed my whole damn mouth. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get a good reading for fire Because y'all reading's been off the chain lately. That's because of these new followers. I've been good for years. Our childhood on my ass and it's been 13 years. Y'all need to go to couples therapy. Thank you so much to Real Million for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Yeah, I'll post this on YouTube. <sighs> Spare wit. I literally just got finished air. Thank you, Unc. Spare, what messages do you have for fire signs? What do fire signs need to know? Anne-Marie, what's your sign? Spirit, what messages do you have for fire signs? What do fire signs need to know? Mm -mm, here we go. It's starting. My throat chakra. Come on, fire signs. Let this be a good reading. Jeez Louise.
You better not go nowhere. You better not leave no damn Erica. Y'all is in it for the long run, okay? <laughs> Shit. Fuck. No, I haven't done Earth. Earth is next. Spirit, what messages do you have for fire signs? What do fire signs need to know today? What messages do you have for fire signs? Ooh, we got my favorite card. Give me one more card for fire signs. One more card for fire signs. One more card for fire signs. Okay, gave me two. Hmm. Fire sign. Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign, a, um, what is it? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, let's get started. All right. Six of Wands is starting off the reading. This is a good card to start off the reading with. Victory and success. Career is about to be doing good. Um, some of y'all are ready to really start being recognized for something you do in your career. Um, y'all may be having a lot of suitors about to come your way and pursue you. Um, somebody's going to be placing you on a pedestal. Some of y'all are meant to be in the public eye. So influencers, YouTubers, TikTokers, um, famous. Y'all may even meet or date somebody famous um but with the six of wands like you are really ready to get a lot of recognition come your way and then with the world card i feel like y'all are closing out a lot of things in your life that don't serve you just like with the air signs reading and you're about to start some new cycles in career love family just friends just all around like you're about to make some really positive changes in your life i feel like it and with the seven of pentacles like you're really ready to start investing in yourself also with the seven of pentacles i feel like there's someone in your energy that wants to invest in a connection with you now it could be old or new because with the seven of pentacles if you ask me hey is such and you do you think it's over and done with me and such and such I'm going to say no because they feel like they already invested a lot into this situation. So they want to continue to invest to see where it's going to go. Now, it could be a new person coming in. So you may be having a new person with this world card next to the seven of pentacles. And they are going to invest in you. Then you have the king of cups. Somebody loves the fuck out of you. You hear me? This is unconditional love. Once the king of cups starts loving you, baby, they're never going to stop loving you. I don't give a fuck what you do. How many times you try to move on. <laughs> Even if you get a new person, like, they're not going to stop loving you. But the thing is that makes you all so frustrated with this person. Because it's like, okay, you say you have all the fucking love in the world for me. But your actions doesn't match it. And that's because the King of Cups is a master at controlling his emotions. He can pull back his love. He can pull back his affection, his time, his heart at any given moment. No matter how much he loves you, because I'm telling you it's unconditional love. He just knows how to control his emotions. <clears throat> Which often leaves you feeling like, what the fuck? You don't love me like you say you love me. You don't want me how you say you want me. Like, the shit is not making sense. And then you have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, somebody comes with a lot of baggage. Somebody needs to release some baggage because that is standing in the way of this connection going further or going to the next level. Ten of Wands, something, somebody is carrying a lot of burdens. Somebody is feeling weighed down by burdens. 
Or you may feel like dealing with this person is just becoming burdensome. <laughs> Unk said the math ain't mathing. Just hold tight, Unk. I ain't clarify. That was just the cards that started out the reading. Let me clarify. Let's see what it's going to go. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Tell me about the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Cups. So we can read this two different ways because remember, Six of Wands represent victory and success. So some of y'all are putting yourself first and walking away from this person that you were so deeply in love with. And when you walk away from them, you're going to get all these fucking suitors come in. You're going to see your career start to do better because you're cutting out that karmic partner. For others of you, if you were dealing with someone that had you in a third party situation, they may be ready to walk away from this third party and you're going to feel like you won at the end of the day. Because like I said, it represents victory and success. Victory is yours. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So some of y'all could be messing with an air sign or ready to meet an air sign, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me about the world card. Why is the world card here? Tell me about the world card. What? World card is clarified by the Seven of Cups. You already have a lot of options, and I keep saying that. Right, sure. Right now? Okay. Well, you act like I said the address out loud. Hold on. Give me one second, y'all. I'm sorry. How you don't know the zip code? Already, with this world card, I told y'all, y'all already have some new cycles starting y'all life. Positive changes. And with this seven of cups, y'all already have multiple options. Y'all gonna start feeling overwhelmed and y'all not gonna know who to choose. Okay? Um, also, when it comes to your career, you need to get clear on what you want. Every, um, all, okay, all money isn't good money. So every opportunity that comes your way does not mean that you need to take it. You need to do your due diligence and figure out what's the right business opportunity for you. And when you figure it out, it will be successful. It will be successful. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Pentacles. So somebody has a choice to make. Somebody needs to get clear on what they want or who they want, but a choice has to be made. Or somebody may have already made a choice. We're going to have to clarify that to be certain. Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Oh, I can't take all these cards. <gasps> Guess what, guys? I am going to take these cards. Oh, my God. What the fuck did I just say? You already be in a relationship. I said it's ready to be a lot of positive changes in your life. And y'all gonna have to make a decision. Y'all already be in a relationship. So let me tell you. All right, listen. King of Cups. I said this is somebody that loves you unconditionally. Once the King of Cups starts loving you, they'll never stop loving you. Y'all not gonna believe this shit. Y'all ready for me to turn these cards around? Okay, bet. Y'all have the fucking moon, sun, strength, and a hierophant. Y'all already know when a moon and sun comes out together, union is near. You're ready to be in a fucking relationship, a healthy, loving, healing relationship. Some of y'all are going to get pregnant. Just a little FYI. I don't know why I just heard twins. Some of y'all are going to have twins, but it's going to be like a boy and a girl, I feel like. Um, y'all are going to find the strength to like really open your, your heart up to love. And then you have the higher fence. Somebody wants to marry you. Somebody wants to marry, bitch, some of y'all going to be getting engaged. And I want to invite to the wedding and I'm not playing with y'all. Okay. 
So mark your calendars. What's today? November 15 and it's 9.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or whatever fucking time is at where y'all at. Write this down on your calendars that I said that y'all gonna be in a relationship and that relationship is gonna lead to engagement and then marriage. And if I had to guess a time frame, I would say, like for it to get real serious, maybe engagement, I would say between Taurus, starting from Taurus to Leo season of next year. But the relationship, of course, is going to come before that. But to take it to the next level, I feel like it's going to be between Taurus and Cancer season. I really want somebody to, to remember this. I'm not playing like, put it on your calendar. Because you're already be in a relationship. The universe, God, your ancestors, whomever, is going to grant your, your wish. It's going to make this wish come true for you. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Four Cups. Somebody's doing a lot of contemplating about you. They've been doing a lot of drinking. When they think about you, they start fucking drinking. Somebody from your past really misses you. Or it could even be a new person like... Somebody could be a little intimidated and really want to reach out to you if it's a new person, but they want to release any baggage before they come your way. Now, if this is an old person, they are heavily thinking about you. They start drinking when they think about you because they really want you back and they know that you are the person that is meant for them. Um, what the fuck? so psychic guess what y'all so remember i was like you're gonna get your dream come true your wish come true nine of cups at the bottom of the deck this represents a wish fulfillment it tells you to pay attention to your dreams that shit is about to come true i can't make this up so i need to figure out if this is the old person a new person so let me clarify this eight of cups because somebody is walking away from something very much something tell me about this eight of cups why is the eight of cups here Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Some of y'all could have probably already met your new person. Listen, y'all. That's why my floor is fucked up now. Whew. Listen. Eight of Cups is clarified by the magician. You may walk away from this old person or the old person may walk away from whoever they were. I don't know. Somebody's walking away from something and it's going to land you into a fucking relationship. Put it like that. Because you have the magician. Somebody is manifesting a relationship with you. They are interested in you. They are focused on you. Did this come out for air signs? Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign. Um, so, Shira, I'm claiming this too, okay? I'm with y'all. I'm claiming this, okay? So, somebody is like, Oh, bitch. It could be with somebody famous, too. Because all of this came out on the same road. A six of wands could mean, like, a famous person or a person of high stature. A person who got some money, some coins that's well known. Um, So, or it could mean y'all manifesting them. Whatever the case is, either somebody's manifesting you, you're manifesting them. But y'all have a relationship coming. Y'all are ready to be in a beautiful, beautiful relationship. But what are y'all confused about with this Seven of Cups? And he is famous way out the way. Who are you messing with that's famous? Share with the group. You're already on a fake page. So nobody know who you are. So share with the group who you, what celebrity you messing with, Stank? Tell me about this Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles here? Bitch, if it, listen. Y'all, if it's him for me, I would die. I would fucking die. Because, y'all, why he wrote me the other day? I was screaming. I sent it to everybody. Like, I was so excited. <laughs> but, hold on, y'all. Tell me about the Seven of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Cups and Two of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Seven of Cups and Two of Pentacles. is way out the way who are you i hate when y'all come on here with these fake pages and i don't know who y'all are because now i don't feel like we family tell me about the seven of cups and two of pentacles 
She probably messed with one of them podcast niggas. <laughs> Which one you messing with? Gilly, Wallow, um, uh, Noriega? Who you messing with? Tell me about the Seven of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Cups? Ace of Swords. Y'all. All right, listen. Somebody has now... I feel okay. Listen, I feel like somebody has finally gotten clear on what they want, right? Carmen, fire signs reading is bomb as fuck today. I think the curse has been lifted finally. All right, so listen, y'all. Somebody is finally clear on what they want, and with this ace of swords, they're going to communicate this with you, okay? They want to have a truthful conversation with you because they love you, they want to like. Y'all are going to be in a fucking relationship. Wait, she really messed with Noriega? Oh, Joe Budden. I thought he was gay. Anywho, so, yeah, they, they, they're going to have this conversation with you. I'm telling y'all. That's all I got. I'm not clarifying no more. Y'all going to be in a relationship, and that's that. Um, y'all career is going to be doing good as well. Y'all have a lot of success coming your way. Chariot card at the bottom of the deck, forward movement. Somebody is ready to move forward with y'all. I'm telling you. Queen of Pentacles, your money is going to be doing good. I love this for y'all. I love this for y'all. I love this for y'all, for real. All right. It's time to do Earth Signs. Y'all got love, relationship fertility, marriage, like, baby. I love that for y'all. I already told y'all this time, and I don't remember now. You're going to be in a relationship, Shadi. Shadi, I love this for you. Me too, thank you. Thank you, Stink, because y'all already know. Whoever, whatever man God is sending in my life, whoever he may be, we getting married April 4th, 2024, and I don't give a fuck who it is. Bitch, I don't even give a fuck if I meet him April 3rd, 2024. We're still getting married April 4th, 2024, okay? So mark your calendars for my wedding, okay? Okay. Yeah. All right, Earth Signs. Y'all, I think every sign had a good reading tonight, didn't they? I'm praying, I'm praying that for me. I'm praying that for me. Yeah, it gotta be him. I'm ready to throw rice. In the I'm ready for y'all to throw rice. And I want to throw rice at y'all right in too. So, yeah. I've been invited y'all to my wedding. And I'm going to live stream it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put this on YouTube. This is the first time in so long that Fire Signs had a good read. Jesus. Even Air had a good read. Mm, mm, Carmen, I thought you went on a date with Magic Mike tonight. Or, oh, wait, it's early where you at. Are you still going on a date with him tonight? Oh, he's coming correct. I love that for you. Aristotle did have a good read, Carmen. Spirit, what messages do you have for Earth signs? What messages do you have for Earth signs? What do Earth signs need to know? Hold on, y'all. Hey, Christy girl. My day was long, and I'm sorry, but y'all woke me up because I was sleepy as fuck when I first got on here. Spray, what messages do you have for Earth signs? What do Earth signs need to know? Question, if we do scripting, how often should we update what we are manifesting? I script every day because life goes on. So you got to keep scripting every day how you want your life to be. So like, um, so like today you could have wrote like, um, I don't know. Um, today I just woke up and I didn't feel like going into the office. So I picked up my iPhone Went on the Delta app, book me a book me and my son a round trip flight to Jamaica, 
oh my god i'm so mad because they didn't have any direct flights so we had a 14 hour layover in miami so when we touched down in miami me and my son went to um carbone and had lunch then we left carbone did a little shopping and then we went back to the airport flew to jamaica um, when we touched down in Jamaica, they greeted us with drinks at the hotel. The hotel was gorgeous. As soon as you walked in, you want to describe the hotel. Um, and then you start talking about the trip. So stuff like that. So every day you want a script of how you want your life to go. Every day is a different day. So you have different adventures for every day. Anywho, let me get to Earth Signs now. Spirit, what messages do you have for earth signs? What do earth signs need to know today? Not gonna lie, don't be writing all. Huh? When you script, you have to be very specific. You gotta put what things look like, smell like, because you're envisioning it, you're picturing it, you are claiming it, like you're living this life. You're living it. You have to believe it. Yeah, it's like a daily journal thing. Like mapping out your life. Like you're writing the memoir to your life. The autobiography for your life. This is your life. So when you look back at it, oh yeah, this was my life. What color is the money candle? Green. I need your imagination. <laughs> Girl, if y'all read my scripts, y'all would be like, this bitch. <laughs> Not gonna lie, don't be writing all that in y'all book, knowing y'all never got no damn money. Y'all they lit and relax. Listen, I don't even think y'all understand what my life used to be like. Bitch, when I say I used to be broke, like I ain't even gonna hold you. Like, let, let me, I'm sorry, Earth Sign, but let me tell y'all some truth because Instagram will really fuck people up and be thinking. Ain't nobody come from a struggle. Everybody is living this glamorous life. Well, let me tell y'all, I my life was a struggle, okay? I was a single mother. I didn't always own a business. I worked a nine to five. It has been times when I have came home and my lights was cut off, okay? It has been times when I didn't came home and I didn't have a fucking eviction notice on the door, okay? It took me a long time to get where I'm at today. But I got where I'm at because I am a faithful believer in manifestation. And that is the God honest truth. I know that God got me. I know that my ancestors got me. And I truly, truly am a master manifester. I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all the truth. Like I'm, I'm being completely honest with y'all. My life was a fucking mess. It was a mess. But I don't regret any of it because all of that was a part of my journey to get me where I'm at now. So when I tell y'all, have that imagination like I had. Because I already knew. Like, I knew. I fucking knew. I wasn't meant to work a 9 to 5. I knew that. Like, I really, really, really knew that. I knew that struggle was not going to last forever. But I knew that that shit was meant to put me where I'm at right now. I was meant to struggle. Because when, when, you, when you have a struggle, you're going to really appreciate what you have going forward. And you ain't let nothing or no one stand in the way to take that shit from you because you're never going to want to go back to that struggle again. So be fucking delusional. Script your fucking life. I'm telling you. And that shit. And you got to you don't just write it, but you got to believe it. Like really believe it. That's why you have to be so detailed. I mean, extremely, extremely detailed. And you're going to see that shit coming true. I'm, I Listen, I said this from day one since I started talking to y'all. I wholeheartedly believe in scripting. If you ask anybody that knew me, <laughs> and I'm talking about not people that claim they know me, but like friends of mine that may not even be my friends no more, but they can tell you like, yeah, that bitch life was a mess. <laughs> yes, I was broke. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, like, it, it's it's the truth. It's, it's the fucking truth. Um... So, yeah, stop buying into the Instagram hype. Because guess what? Y'all may look at a bitch on Instagram that is rocking a $8,000, $10,000 purse, but her fucking account is $29 in a negative, and she's sleeping in her mother's basement. But she won't show that on Instagram. 
So don't let Instagram make y'all feel like y'all not doing enough because these bitches and, and these men be capping. Okay, a lot of these Instagram influencers, the broke as shit and don't have a, a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. Okay, so focus on you. Stay on your grind. Do your scripting. What's meant for you going to be for you. You just got to believe in you got to believe in the universe like on some real shit. I was not always <laughs> right here where I'm at today. I, I can wholeheartedly tell y'all to God on this truth. No, I was broke as shit. <laughs> How you can ask my son? Well, no, because he you actually know because I asked my son. He said he don't really remember. Like I guess because as a parent, you want to make sure your your kids always feel like they have it. They're not gonna really see the struggle. So I don't know. But that's my little speech for tonight. So let's go ahead and get into Earth Signs. Oh, no, oh, what, I'm sorry. One more thing. And what I always would do, even when I was like dead, dead, dead broke, I would always say I'm rich. I could be having a conversation with somebody because I love to talk shit. And I'd be like, oh, that is beneath me. I'm too rich for that. And bitch, when I say my account will be in a fucking negative. <laughs> but I would really talk like that. And you can ask anybody that know me. Like, I will talk big shit. You would think that I had Bill Gates money. And I have no fucking money. So y'all got to talk like you already have it. Like, you got to claim that shit. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell you, like, baby, I ain't getting no motherfucking child support. And I remember one time I ended up, my job, I got laid off from my job. I had a child. Like, life was life, and life was a lot at one point. But, you know, you, you, you make shit work. You make shit work. So, and I know I'm a master manifester. Like, I, I stand on that shit. Like, I don't be understanding how people don't manifest their life. Like, y'all, if you want something, you got to manifest that shit. But anywho, we're going to get back to earth signs. Thank you so much, Nicole, for buying the badge. I really appreciate it. I love that, though. I love that. Yeah, and I'm not fucking a burst to tell my story. Like, that is a part of my journey. Like, I ain't there now, but... You know, your journey is what it's going to be, okay? And I know I'm not finished. I know that I'm going to elevate. I know I'm going to go even further in life because I'm continuously manifesting. But, yeah, I was a ratchet mess. <laughs> I was broke as shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't had my priorities in order at one point. Mm -mm. I'm being honest. <laughs> it is what it is. I just knew I wasn't ever going to have another child and struggle with another child again. I spit on that shit. I knew, like, I was like, I am struggling with this one fucking child that I have. There's no way in the world I would bring another child in unless I'm completely financially stable. Not my man being financially stable, but it has to be me. So no matter how much I would love a man that I'm in a relationship with, bitch, couldn't no man ever get me to have another child. Like, I just couldn't do it. I could not do it because I had to feel like I was financially stable. And now that I am financially stable, I still not have no fucking child because now I feel like it's just too late. Because for me, and I think because I had my child so young, so it's just, I, I, it was a roller coaster ride. So I just knew I couldn't have no more. Like I, I couldn't do it no more. Y'all don't even understand how many how many nights I cry myself to sleep, baby. That shit is not for the week. It is not for the week. Mm -mm. It is definitely a lot of hard work. It is not for the week. Spirit, what messages do you have for Earth signs? What do Earth signs need to know today? Okay, so bad. Y'all don't help me. <sighs> Spirit, tell me about mm, what I'm. Oh, Earth. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for Earth signs? What do Earth signs need another day? Spirit, what messages do you have for Earth signs? What do Earth signs need another day? <clears throat> that flip. Spirit, what messages do you have for Earth signs? What do Earth signs need another day? Oh, 
shy. I would love for you to be a special guest because you look like you be lit. You be having a you look like you be having a good time. Thank you so much, Chrissy, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Earth signs? What do Earth signs mean another day? But y'all also need to put in the work for your manifestation. You can't just let the universe do all the work. Got it. Yeah, that's like, okay, the, the universe is going to lead you to the water, but they can't make you drink it. So you got to put some type of work in. Spirit, give me one more card for earth signs. What do earth signs need to know? Spirit, what messages do you have for earth signs? All right, earth signs, let's get started. You ready? Okay. Ooh, El Salvador, I want to travel there so bad. All right, so look, the first card is the Eight of Cups. Somebody may be walking away or contemplating walking away from something that they once loved or once was passionate about. Or for some of you, y'all could be trying to detach from some sort of addiction as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It can, because sometimes the Eight of Cups can represent trying to detach from a addiction as well. You have a big, beautiful relationship coming your divine counterpart by Taurus Cancer. Oh, you recapping that. Okay. And then with the Ace of Swords, somebody wants to talk to you really badly. They are ready to like have a gut-wrenching conversation with you. And, and it's I feel like this conversation is overdue. It's overdue for y'all to have this conversation. It's just like, but this conversation is, re is going to require listening. Like, don't just listen to respond but truly listen and hear them out and see what they have to say and they need to also give you the same respect as well because it's time to get some shit resolved with this ace of swords and then you have the page of cups so with the page of cups some of y'all may have a new person that is crushing on you for others of you, it is this person I want to have a conversation with you because the page of cups can represent an apology or it can represent um, like a heartfelt message. And then you have the three of wands. Three of wands means that you're waiting on something. Um, and it's a manifestation. So whatever you're manifesting, it's coming. It just requires patience. It means your ships are coming in. Just please be patient. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Wow. Um, air and fire got this tonight. And now earth signs. Um, nine of Wands. So look. Somebody say they want to walk away. Either you or your person. But they're not actually walking away. They're still one foot in and one foot out. Because... Deep down inside, they're hoping that you two can resolve this relationship. Now, my granted, a big part of them really do want to walk away because they feel like, or you feel like, one of y'all feel like y'all just been through a lot when it came to this relationship. But with this nine of wands, I don't feel like they're walking away just yet or you're walking away just yet. I feel like somebody is going to try to stick in there and work it out and see what happens when y'all have this really, really deep conversation. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Sun card. I feel like y'all gonna heal from this. Whatever this conversation is, it's going to lead to some healing. Whatever this conversation is, it's going to force somebody to start really seeing, like taking a look in the mirror and seeing the things that they need to fix about themselves and how certain things is affecting your relationship. And then I do feel like eventually you're going to start to see a positive shift in their behavior and their communication. Um... And with the sun card, you know, that represents happiness, joy, reconciliation, um, love, fertility. <laughs> um, 
what else? Relationships, marriage, all you, just anything that's involved with happiness. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Tell me about this Page of Cups. Page of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Wands. This is triple confirmation of a conversation needs to be had. Because you got the Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, and Eight of Wands. All of these are communication cards. Somebody is rushing in. I mean rushing in with the Eight of Wands to have a conversation with you. Like, really rushing in to have a conversation with you. Um, and they're so passionate about you. Like, they have so much passion for you. They're not letting you go. I'm sorry. They're not letting you go. Tell me about the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Tell me about the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Tell me about the three of wands. Three of wands is clarified by the magician. Fire sign got this too. And I think air sign. Some of y'all are definitely messing with a fire or air sign. Like, it has to be. It has to be. Um, so, yeah, magician. Somebody is manifesting you. Like, and this could be a new love. Okay, so look. Whoever, you know what? Both of these are manifestation cards. So, the thing is, y'all are both manifesting each other y'all are manifesting a more healthy relationship a more stable relationship y'all are manifesting like probably better communication because there's a lot of communication cards here so it's like y'all want the same thing y'all just gotta figure out how to get there and i feel like this conversation this gut-wrenching conversation is going to Help y'all get where y'all need to be because y'all are both manifesting the same exact thing with one another. The same fucking exact thing. Y'all gotta grow the fuck up. <laughs> Tell me about this nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? Nine of wands is clarified by the ten of swords. So something is ending for someone. Um, or if it's not ending, somebody feels like Somebody stabbed them in their back. Somebody could have um, betrayed them. Now, for others of you, because this Eight of Cups is here about somebody walking away. If somebody had you in a third party and they were with that third party for some years, they may be thinking about ending things with that third party. But I'm going to have to clarify that. Tell me about the Sun card. Why is the Sun card here? Tell me about the Sun card. Why is the Sun card here? Tell me about this sun card. Why is the sun card here? Yeah, look. Five of cups. Somebody is mourning the loss of a marriage. Somebody is mourning the loss of a relationship. You got the ten of swords and the five of cups. So for y'all who are in a third party situation, I feel like your person may be getting a divorce or breaking up with them. Um... If this is, if you're not in a third party situation and it's just you and your person, somebody is feeling regretful. I'm tired of her ass playing with me too. Somebody is sad and they're feeling regretful about something. But with this sun card, I feel like y'all are going to be able to work through this and heal it. But somebody is really sad and they're, they're feeling some sense of regret. Tell me about the eight of wands. Why is the eight of wands here? Tell me about the eight of wands. Why is the eight of wands here? Tell me about the eight of wands. Why is the eight of wands here? Nine of pentacles. Somebody sees you as the perfect type for them. Somebody wants you around for the long run. Now, once again, for those of you that are in a third party situation, somebody want to contact you and tell you that they're becoming single because the nine of pentacles is typically someone that is single. Okay. For others of you, <laughs> your person might tell you, if you with your person now, they may tell you, if you don't get your shit together, then I'm fucking leaving you. So stop playing with me. Ooh, because you know what? Look, Queen of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So some of y'all mess with an air sign. So an air sign is about to tell y'all, like, listen, if we don't fix this, I'm fucking leaving. So you better figure out how we're going to fix this. And they are standing on business. <laughs> Ooh, De'Aaron, this must be Erica. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not funny. <laughs> Woo! 
Tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? Magician is clarified by the four cups. Um, I'm only dealing with a water sign. Okay, iceberg. Four cups. Somebody's doing a lot of contemplating. Because like I said, y'all both are manifesting the same thing. Somebody is really trying to figure out how to fix this situation. Let's figure out what the final likely outcome is. Spirit, this don't make any sense. What doesn't make sense? Just because I said an air sign, it is water in here. You have to understand that water could be in somebody's chart. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. So what is the final likely outcome for earth signs in love? What is the final likely outcome for earth signs in love? What is the final likely outcome for earth signs in love? Page of Swords. Somebody keeps tabs on you. They do. Um, and it could be either very limited communication between you two or very blunt communication. But with this chariot card, the chariot card represents forward movement. Okay? Chariot card means that no matter what obstacle is standing in the way, whether it's finance, whether it's distance, whether it's a third party, y'all going to overcome that shit. Because their ultimate goal with you is this Ten of Pentacles. Love. Family, marriage, leaving a legacy, building up your finances. Yeah, y'all gonna figure it out, Earth Signs. Y'all are going to figure it the fuck out. And if you don't, then walk away from them. Find somebody new. But for the most part, I feel like y'all gonna figure it out. So that's what I have for y'all today. Oh my God, he literally just called while I'm on this live. Okay, I know that's right. Thank you so much, Marie, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. You're welcome, Nicole. I'm glad y'all like the readings tonight. And I and just think I almost didn't get on here tonight. Yeah, I'll be friends with him so he can watch this glow up. <laughs> Bree, where did you meet this new person at? Oh, yeah, all the readings was good tonight. I like this. You're welcome, Dominique. Should I take back the blockage? What does that mean? And runs to your new boo. <laughs> I'm gonna post it. What you mean it's bouncy short? So I have to in um Shade be so on point because why he have his friend following me for years and just so I have to end it now because y'all know if it gets too, too long, I can't download it. And if I can't download it, I can't post it on YouTube. So I'm going to actually um, end it now. So I will try my best to download it. Just been on here telling my business. <laughs> so um, I'll, do, I'll do my best to try to download it and post it on YouTube. So, have a good night, y'all. I'm about to take my ass to bed because I am tired. I, I might come back. <laughs> but let me hang up, and then I might come back. <laughs>